What up everyone, I'm Rich Mays Lopez and this is the Release Roundup brought to you by the good people at SoulCollector.com. In this week's show, we're breaking down some of the top news stories. We're looking at the top five sneaker releases of the week and we had some fun with New York Knicks point guard Emmanuel Moutier. Let's get into the top news stories. Supreme, Undercover, and Public Enemy are all linking up to drop a big collection of collab gear that features jackets, hoodies, shirts, pants, Doc Martens, and accessories. The collection features the iconic album artwork from P.E.'s Fear of a Black Planet album, which includes a logo rug. As is the case with everything that Supreme does, everyone has an opinion, and this week's debate is whether or not people who aren't familiar with P.E.'s work should be allowed to rock the collection. No vacancy ends, Tremaine Emery weighed in on the matter on Twitter saying, I don't want to hear you old heads bothering the kids about wearing this preem, ex undercover, ex public enemy collab, just let the kids live. So we want to know your thoughts. Are certain people banned from rocking this collection? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. It looks like there's more, yes, even more, off-white ex Nike sneakers on deck. Adding to the Chicago and white AJ1s, Virgil Abloh has apparently cooked up a University Blue Jordan 1 that according to Pirates on IG is rumored to drop later this spring. And in a move that's going to piss off a lot of resellers that are still sitting on pairs, it looks like the complex con exclusive Air Force One is dropping on Nike.com. Official images of the sneaker are loaded on Nike server right now, but that's all we have so far. This is a pretty clear indication that the collab will be dropping very soon, but where and when is still TBD. Kanye West is apparently working on his new album in Wyoming of all places and no shots to the one person from Wyoming that watches this show and he and Adidas are also dropping a new version of the 350 V2 later this year. According to the Easy Mafia, the Butter 350 V2 is on deck and it features a new reverse primer design with a tonal and inverted 350 supply hit. No word on an exact release date, but according to the Easy Mafia and shout out again to the Easy Mafia for somehow making it through that Kim K fatality, is reporting a June release. Nike SB has released both official collabs with rappers and many unofficial and inspired by rapper sneakers. But the question now is, is Nike SB really going to make a Biggie vs. Tupac pack? According to an image leaked via Nike SB or Nothing on IG, a pack of sneakers inspired by the denim shirts that Biggie and Tupac wore might be dropping soon. No word on whether or not this is an official collab or even if it's an official release, but TBH, I'm just here for the backlash if these things actually do drop. New York Knicks point guard and Under Armour endorser Emmanuel Moutier stopped by the release roundup studio this week. And we gave him a chance to clap back at all the UA haters. We have our first ever release roundup guest in our brand new release roundup studio, Emmanuel Moutier in the building today. First of all, thank you for joining us today. Now, real NBA heads probably know or they should know your career arc, right? Mm -hmm. You decided to not go to college. Yeah. You went overseas to play. In between that, you signed a deal with Under Armour. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that process, because I feel like you were one of the pioneers to mm -hmm. kind of make that move. Uh, well, the reason I decided to leave and go overseas was definitely for my, you know, my family. My mother didn't want her working like she was working. You know, she was taking care of the family since we were little boys, me and my two uh, older brothers. But uh, I decided to go Under Armour. Obviously, I had a few options: Nike, you know, Adidas, Under Armour. Where you happy and where you think you're gonna be valued? I think that's probably how you gotta look at the whole process. Like I said, you're one of the pioneers to skip college, go for Pro Bowl. But another group of people who've done that lately, making a, a lot of headlines, mm -hmm. the Ball family. What do you think about Big Baller brand? He, he's doing the right thing for them. You know, I think uh, just like two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, we, had, me and my brother went to the store, this a kid had a, a Big Baller brand shirt on. So, I mean, when you see stuff like that, they obviously doing the right thing. Yeah. You know, even though a lot of people say he's talking crazy and doing that. Lonzo's in the NBA now, so, I, you know, him playing is also helping out the brand. His sneakers have been taking a lot of shots. Yeah. <laughs> the the, the yeah. Zoe Prime and the Zoe Remix. Do NBA players take shots at each other's sneakers? Oh, yeah, all the time. Definitely all the time. I think that Nike has some, I don't even know the name of the shoes. Uh, Ennis was wearing them today, and like hey, we all went in on Ennis, and it was just, it was funny though. But Ennis was laughing about it. Even when I had some Under Armors on, because uh, Under Armour they're now really like coming up. But at fir the first couple of shoes, it was kind of like, man, we got to work on some stuff. Under Armour has a really impressive roster. Mm -hmm. Great brand, but the reputation is not there yet. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm gonna do, right? right? We collected some of the comments on on our social media channels yeah. about Under Armour. I'm gonna give you a chance to answer some of these things. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so we got the first one here. Under Armour shoes are so bad 
the NBA 2K18 forces you to take the free ones whether you want that trash sponsor or not. Yeah, man. That's <laughs> tough. That's tough. That's his opinion. I can't I can't get mad at his opinion. And let me say about Under Armour at the same time. It's only 20 I'm 20 I just turned 22. Under Armour is 22 years Everybody. old. Appreciate it. Under Armour is 22 years old. So it's a real real young company yeah. if you really think about it. Yeah. But to have what it has right now, they still have ways to go as well. Yeah. Uh straight up under Armour sucks. <laughs> Want to talk world domination, everyone wears Nikes. Mm. The trash belongs in the trash can. I wouldn't put a pair of UAs on my feet. Should he put a pair of UAs on his feet? I mean, they comfortable. I mean, it depends on what you're, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to hoop in them or you're trying to just walk around, they got some comfortable shoes. Next one, really want to buy some Under Armour sneakers and support the local brand, but can't find a pair where the logo doesn't look like trash on yeah, it. Trust me, we have all talked about that, even the people involved. If you look at Steph's new shoe, like the sign is like super little. So like, and that's something that when they come to me, when I have my PEs and stuff too, like they always ask me like, what you think about the logo? I'll be like, y'all gotta, we gotta bring that down. Like it's so big on everything. The like, answer yeah. to that is you're working on it. Yeah, we were You got them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm helping. Uh, next one, just sucks that Tom Brady isn't a Nike or Jordan athlete, had to sign with whack ass, <laughs> no swag, Under Armour. The least cool athletic company on the planet. Is Under Armour the least cool athletic company on the planet? Not to little kids. Okay. If you if you go around and you see seven year olds, eight year olds, they love the bright shirts, the bright shoe, you know, bright shoes, Under Armour. I feel like to the little kids, that's a swag. That's a swag. Exactly. They love that. The big the logo, the better for them. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe UA is releasing dope sneakers. Never saw that coming. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, and I think it's surprising a lot of people the way it's coming out, the rate that it's going at, and you know it is surpassing certain companies and certain in certain areas. It's surpassing. So what's next for you in the sneaker world? I mean, right now I'm with Under Armour. That's my that's where I'm with right now. So I, I'm gonna keep talking to them about you know certain things that I like. So yeah. hopefully when it gets out there, people people like it. And on the court. Yeah, man. Young is just you know trying to keep growing, learn as much as I can, trying to you know, get as much experience that we can under our belt right now. And now for the top five sneaker releases of the week. Coming in at number five, the Puma Fenty Cleated Creeper Surf, dropping on March 15th at a retail price of 140. At number four, the final three pieces from the Adidas Hue and MD Holy Collection by Pharrell, dropping on March 16th at a retail price of 240. Number three, the I'm Back Air Jordan 10, dropping on March 18th at a retail price of 190. Number two, the black Adidas Yeezy Calabasas Power Phase, dropping on March 17th at a retail price of 120. And at number one, a Nike Air Max X Atmos Animal Pack, dropping on March 17th at a retail price of 160 for the Air Max One and 200 for the Air Max 95. The original Atmos Animal Pack that dropped 10 years back actually hit sales right because it was a little too far out there for itself at the time, but since then, the pack has achieved grail status. So if you passed back then, or if you weren't even in the game 10 years ago, this is your chance. That's it for this episode of the Release Roundup. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're copying anything this weekend, best of luck. See y'all next week.